So I finally got the parts to this go-kart, the last few parts that I think I'm going to need. But I mean, saying that, I probably just jinxed myself, but the inner tubes for these front tires, because they look like crap. And I got some extra tires somewhere that I'm going to throw on there. Bam. Put these on front, hopefully they fit. Probably stretch them out. Rim looks a little bit wide. If not, I will put another set of wheels that I have on there. And then I just have to find new wheels for that one. But, yeah, I'm thinking about throwing this tire on the back. I mean, this one's not gonna last very long. This one is bald too, but that one isn't as bald as that one. That one is as bald as that one. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get into this. Take these tires off, paint these rims, put these tires on. Hopefully they're wide enough and make it happen. Now I'm gonna have to dig out some more wheels out of the uh, shed. Because I mean, there's gonna be inner tubes. So I just want a little bit of tread and these right here, I mean, they're not bad. All right, let's get into it. All right, so these are what I have to repair. They're not bad, to be honest with you. I've seen worse. And shoot, fuck it. So I need to smooth out the inside so that these aren't like puncturing the uh, inner tube. And then clean up the outside. This one ain't that bad. Like the insides aren't that bad, it's crazy. But the outsides, woo. Just sand them down, make sure they catch the paint. And then put them back together. Too easy. So let's get into that.
All right, so looks like this might work. Just hope it will stretch. We'll see what happens. If it doesn't stretch, like I said, I'll go into the garage and see if I can find some wider tires. I'm gonna have to take the tires off the rim, I know that. Which I don't wanna do. Let's just see what happens. All right, so I did that while the paint was drying. As you saw, I just painted the back of the rim. And that way it'll just have a little bit of protection so they won't start rusting through from the inside out. The tire's a little bit wider. They're like twice as wide as these. Hmm. I guess I'll be riding like uh, those guys with the uh, camber. The best way to do it, I guess, is to put some air in here and let it fill a little bit. That way it doesn't pinch. So I'm going to do that right now. Alright, so I got these filled up enough so that it won't pinch. It'll just slide right over it. And I don't know, man. These inner tubes aren't looking as big as the inner tubes that I had in the other ones. Not liking it, Bob. Well, we'll see what happens. All right, so now I got the engine while the rims are drying. Because I did uh, two coats. I didn't show the second coat. All right, so this is the engine that's going on it. That's the choke. This is the throttle. As you can see right here, it says when the, this is all the way down, it's stop. So the thing about it is, I need to remove this. I don't know if I'm gonna extend this wire to the front, so I do just push it. But it looks like it's like grounded back here somewhere, and it's also bolted down. So I'm gonna remove that, and I gotta run that switch to the front somewhere up here, which I should have made a kill switch early before I painted it but I can still make it and paint over it again it's no big deal and um like I don't know if you can see where it's connecting where it's making contact right there with that black kill switch I'm gonna drill a hole in there run the cable through the hole and use this to uh lock it in so crazy because it looks like it's already made making the spot of where I'm gonna drill it you look closer you see like a little black dot on it so that's what I'm gonna do now go ahead and take this off so I already know this engine is good I know engine but go cars going on remember this thing was red that's why it says red out one will launch all right so I'm gonna go ahead and get these rims together and then I'm gonna go ahead and take this and this off, remove, so I can remove that, drill that hole, and then run that throttle cable in here, and then work on the drive train, so that, go ahead and hook up a chain, take this thing out for a test drive, yeah, alright, let me get to it, okay, so I don't know now, because, like I said, they're twice the size. It'll take a lot of air. And I don't want to bust this tire. Damn it. I mean, I could try it. See what happens. Don't try this at home, kids.
Let's go into fast forward mode until I get to it. Well, when I filled it up, I actually like it. Like, doesn't even have to be seated on the run. But I like it, so I'm going to go ahead and stick with this. Going to throw this one on, and I'm going to do the other wheel. It's one wheel on, one wheel done. And it's nowhere near, like, as far as, like, touching the spindle. Not even close. So, that works out. Alright, so now I got this other one. Hmm. I think I'm going to stick with that uh, look. I like it, actually. For the front, so... Since y'all didn't get to see it, I'll show you again. But something's wrong with my hose. That's why I didn't record because the hose, hose is leaking. And I'm upset about that. So now it's time. Well, it's still a little bit, but. Try a little more. Look like some of the tires not on over here, but that's just hitting bumps. Damn it, y'all still didn't see it. It had an angle on it, but yeah, stretch that much. That's crazy. Just trying to rush and get this thing together, you know. If y'all been watching, y'all know that it's been taking me too long to finish these projects, and of course that thing won't work. All right, so I'm gonna throw this tire on, get these things tightened down. Right now, actually, I'm just doing it in front of y'all. And you got yourself a roller, ladies and gentlemen. Now it's time to work on the important part. Hmm. Well, let me uh, do a walk around for you. Good. Get it from right here. All this work for this one wheel pill. So wait until I do this one. Alright, so let me get actually I should have kept that up on jack stands. 
I'm gonna put this thing up on jack stands, probably those three right there to make it real high. This is easier for me to work. So let me do that and then get this motor set up. Okay, so I got this taken off. It's pretty simple. I mean, anybody could do it. So now I'm gonna take this little piece off right here and somehow get a drill. I might have to take this whole thing apart. But looking the throttle. So let me show you what I'm what I see. Alright, so right here, this is supposed to be over here, but it's st stuck in the wide open position. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a spring from here to here so that this stays back. Hopefully that'll work. But it looks like I'm probably have to wrap the spring around this way, you know, under the way it's pulling. And it will act as a return for the throttle. And hopefully, let's see, let's test it. Now I'm gonna have to put a spring over here too. So, so if that's up. And put a zip tie here, which I'll probably do right now since I got this off. Zip tie this, that way this will pull back and then engage the hmm. doesn't need a lot of play actually I'm throwing the tight now because I haven't that I have one thin enough that I got off of another vehicle yesterday There. So now I don't have to hold it no more. So this hmm, ain't gonna take much. All right, so I think I'm just go ahead and put a hole here. It'll be easier to get to, and then just like the, like the starter kit star is gonna be in the way. But yeah, put that there. Run this down here. Boom. Um, I'll probably loosen this a little bit. Cause mainly I wanted it to just take out the slack, which it kind of did, but it seemed like it's no good. I'm gonna have to oil this, but go ahead and get my uh, drill. Go ahead and drill this hole out and um, hook this up and then throw a chain on it. Oh, well, before I do this, let me show you what I did. <laughs> I'll be a little embarrassing. So, got this hooked up, got that connected. Everything's working fine. Doesn't really take that much gas, so hopefully it doesn't get ripped out. But, perfect. Now, let's get this back together and then. Um, I'm going to go ahead and test it so that this doesn't rub. I need to move this over a little bit because this is rubbing and it's pulling it in. So I think I'm going to draw a hole probably right there. And then if I should do it now that I got the gas tank out the way, let me see if I can get this in here. See if I can do it without the gas tank here. Now I'm gonna take the motor off again. Just no problem because it's not tightened down. Now 
I'm not really taking off, I'm just taking the bolts out in the back and just sliding it over. I think it won't be necessary. I'm going to put these over here so that these don't fall into the carburetor. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on and then test it and then I'm going to go ahead and take these back bolts out. So it's running. Hmm. All right. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tighten this thing down and um, throw a chain on it, and it'll be done. That's it. Like right. that's it. See what I'm doing. So I'm gonna see if I can get <laughs> might not work. I'll try right there. That's what I'll do. I'll put it on the side. That way I know it'll move over. Stop playing with me. see something all right even if it was all the way through wouldn't touch so
hot. So I'm doing on this side. There, yeah, now it's over. This is still making the scent. <laughs> All right, well, that's the end of my video. This is, uh, um, I guess, the final product of it. I love how the front wheels turned out. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I'm probably I'm gonna end up changing that rear tire, but um, this is it, man. I'll probably test drive it tomorrow. I'll do a video of me trying to get in this thing and ride it. I think I could fit. I'm not too sure. No, I can't fit in that one. Definitely cannot fit in this one. But yeah. Thanks for watching, you know. Everything looks pretty good. I mean, I like it. So, I mean, thanks for watching, you know. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the like, comment. Um, tell me what you think about the project. And let me know if you think I should paint this one. Most likely by the time you see this, it'll probably already be painted. But I'm just curious to see if anybody agrees with me. And on that note, I am out. Thanks for watching, and I will see y'all later. Big Cave out. Let it warm up for a second. One. Man. Hmm. Actually not a bad size. I don't think I've tightened the
All right, so I can't remember if I tightened this down and not all the way, so I didn't want to go too far, but this front tire went flat. That's no good. Let's see what happened. I think the rim might have cut the inner tube. But yeah, it's a runner. Kinda. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I ain't even gonna post this. All right. work. I like it. Surprisingly, it uh goes instead of spins. It's crazy. But hey, thanks for watching. Um, now I'm about to do the test run on that for the next video. But thanks for watching. Hopefully, y'all have um y'all like the video, and uh, make sure you subscribe, hit that like, comment, and that notification bell for upcoming videos. All right, man. Thanks for watching. Bacon Man, Bacon Man Cave Valley. Finally got it right. What?